Kaikoura is known for whales, dolphins, seals, and albatross. But it's not really known for its llamas, and that is what we are doing today. We are going to be trekking with llamas around Kaikoura. Yes, that's right, the wildlife that we're going to be encountering today are llamas. And to get them ready for this epic journey we're going to take, we get them brushed up and ready to go. Kevin and Nin introduce us to our personal llamas. I'm going to have Max and Laura is going to have another llama called Legend. And this is going to be what we're going to be doing today. That's no joke. And the Llama Cab is brought to you by your favorite brand of beer. Each of our llamas have their own unique personalities. Robin has Max and Max is the young llama eager to be a significant member of the pack. Well, I have Legend because he only walks with legends. But in all seriousness, Legend is called Legend because he likes to be the leader of the pack. So what we're doing today is a llama trekking tour. It's a good way to see the Kaikoura town and its surrounding areas. We're going to be passing through this lovely Kaikoura garden and along a few beaches on our way to the Kaikoura Peninsula. Now that Laura gave you the serious beach, which is describing what the tour is, let's get to the obvious. Guys, this is the most unique and weird stuff we have done in this country so far. I mean, for fuck's sake, we are walking around with Peruvian llama on New Zealand beaches. That's crazy. If you are not aware, Laura writes a story about each of the activities that we are doing on BackpackerGuide.nz. And let me take the time to read you a small paragraph of the story she wrote today. As occurrences arise between the llamas, Kevin makes sure to explain us what is going on. The most frequent issue is one llama sniffing another llama's bum, only to be met by angry spitting llama. Like most of us, the llama don't like their bum to be sniffed. If there is a llama writing Pulitzer Prize, I think that Laura is up to get it in 2019. Around halfway through our tour, we stop at Five House, which is the oldest building in Kaikoura and is in a location where the old Kaikoura town used to be when it was established as a whaling station back in the day. But thank God people come here now to see the whales alive rather than in a whaling station. But it's a perfect place for our llamas to have a good feed on the grass and for us to have a good feed too with some muffins and hot chocolate that was packed into our llamas' backpacks. This area is really interesting. It's also a Maori grave site and a moa egg, a full one, was found here when they were doing some excavation. It's quite fascinating, but we don't hang around too long and we are hopping back onto the road, not onto a llama, because if you didn't know, you cannot ride the llama. The scenery surrounding us is absolutely amazing. We have some stunning beach with beautiful waterfront sight, but on the other side, we also get some awesome mountainous landscape, which makes it for perfect llama selfies because, you know, the llama prefer a mountainous background, right? Llamas are both funny and also very interesting animals. They are in constant alert, and you can tell what is their mood by just looking at them. They are moving their ears in different positions depending on what they are currently feeling. If they're all the way in the back, they feel threatened and scared, and if they're all the way up, they feel all good and feeling relaxed. Speaking of feeling relaxed, we are encountering one really typically Kaikoura wildlife at the end of our tour. This New Zealand fur seal is a good reminder that the Kaikoura wildlife is thriving in the area. It's quite amazing how much wildlife you see on every single given day. But it's time for us to pack our llama back into their car box, I guess, and make our way back toward the little township of Kaikoura. But Kevin has a surprise for us, a personalized postcard. Awesome! Mm. 